Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Space Age, the new Factorio DLC. We are in episode 5 now. We finished Red Belts in the last episode, and we've started upgrading a lot of things to Red Belts. We got oil fetched from down here, and I now have gotten that connected up to our base area. We needed a pump because of the new fluid mechanics, and so that makes it such that you need a pump every 250 well, basically, Fluid Network is free to roam within a 250 by 250 square. Once you go outside of that square, you need pumps to connect. So we have essentially got two networks now that are connected by that pump. And then I just now upgraded this belt to red. So now we should have enough iron for the various things we're doing. And once this patch is starting to run out, we're supporting with the iron from the other patch. Um, with a lower priority. So we should be good to go on that for a while. And in this episode, we're going to work with oil. So we've already got some refineries crafted. I did automate chem plants over here, though they only stack to 10. I don't understand why chem plants stack to 10 and assemblers stack to 50. It, it feels, I don't know, because they're three by three buildings. Refineries not stacking to 50 makes sense to me. Chem plants not stacking to 50 makes less sense to me. I don't totally get that. What's up, Luna Dream? All right, so there's an exciting new feature that we can't quite utilize yet. Oh, we can. It even works with this. Look at that. We can flip the fluid inputs. It's amazing. So now, even with more advanced fluid stuff, you aren't going to need as many new pipes and as many undergrounds it's gonna be great uh very nice feature that so we'll get our power connected it's gonna be a while before i need uranium but yeah there we go there's basic oil processing these each make nine per second so i can always add more as needed but yeah, basically, I'm going to preemptively just kind of build the whole... Is this enough space? I can always build one behind it uh, for, like, cracking is what I'm thinking. So, you know, that can be heavy oil cracking. Give it four, five spaces. That can be light oil cracking. And then this can be plastic up here. Maybe I should have gone sideways. I'm going to redo this. We're going to go sideways. Okay. So yeah, we're going to set them up. I'm going to leave space for mall stuff. I'm going to set up the oil refineries maybe right about here. Yeah. It is weird, yeah, okay, so I actually thought the same weirdness about the uranium. It is kind of weird that you have to mine the uranium first to be able to set up your centrifuges and automate centrifuges. Because um, that does kind of, in that case, that just kind of incentivizes you to go out with a single barrel of sulfuric acid <laughs> and get that set up. So that, that one feels a little weird to me because it kind of, what am I doing? Um, oh, it's a different V versus H, vertical and horizontal. It flips it horizontally or vertically. Um, very nice. But yeah, that one in particular as a trigger tech feels kind of annoying because it's like, well, I guess I have to go do the trigger thing, even though I'd like to do other things at the base right now, but it's fine. No, 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 the nuclear power is not unlocked. It just unlocks the centrifuges. This is the only one that you unlock with the trigger attack. And then you still have to research after that the actual nuclear power. So that's not any different than it was before. OK, so anyway, there's our petroleum. Now I have a little bit more space. Um, heavy oil cracking. Let's leave six spaces. Light oil cracking. Six spaces. 
plastic. Just leave, leave lots of space here. Why not? Um, that'll be the petroleum. Connect up the fluids. And then we'll bring coal down. Just going, just simple does it for now. Nothing fancy. Coal, plastic out. And that's gonna go all the way over there. Gonna need a lot of red belts for that. Uranium is used in space science? I don't think so. I think they undid that. I think that was something uh, which I can talk about now because the NDAs dropped. Uh, it They changed that. It was used for space science and now it's not. Um, and some people in the Discord were not a fan of that. Because they, they liked that uranium had a use. And now it's back to not having a use other than just power. But I could be a little wrong about that. I, th I think that's what I read anyway. Nice belt offset? Uh, what do you mean? Nice belt offset. That could mean a lot of things. Uh, Alright, so there's that. We have a forest that is in our way. Unfortunately. Time to automate grenades, eh? What makes grenades? Coal and iron plate? Alright. Why is my coal only on one side of the belt? That seems problematic. Let me go investigate. Probably ran out of miners. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about this build over here. Got some free red science. All right, now, Alor can't just be out here all alone without light. Gotta help out a little bit here. There we go. And I mean, if we're gonna do that, we gotta also do that for the ship, I guess. Should go for the get planet sciences before yellow and purple. Somehow I doubt that is an achievement we will be going for. Yeah, this is what I had assumed might have been going on. side of the belt so we can easily make it balanced like that and this is all on one side of the belt so we'll make that one balanced that should be perfectly balanced as all things should be or so Thanos says Do I feel like restarting the stream so you can redeem it again? Look, you'll have plenty of streams this week, A-Lord. Don't worry. Don't you worry. 
We get plenty. I think two per day is, is enough. <laughs> and there might be some days where I will stream twice in a day because I have something in the middle of the day. Like, uh, Wednesday is a potential two stream day. Though I probably just won't stream in the morning on Wednesday and I just won't start till the afternoon. But, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so the coal should be fixed now. How's power? I haven't checked power in a while. Yeah, I could add a little more. Could add a little more. Oh, if I need gears and pipes. It's a little painful. The lighting isn't bad without Afraid of the Dark. You mean like stream-wise it looks fine even when it's dark out? Didn't I automate boilers? I sure did. But I didn't want to walk all the way over there. See, this is why I don't automate boilers. In this case, it still would have been more work for me to walk over and get them than just to craft a few. The reason it's nice to have them automated is I can add 50 more now once I have construction bots in like two seconds. So uh, that's kind of nice. If I want to take t steam power a bit further, I can. Okay, that should handle things for a bit. Yeah, I mean, going to the planets certainly has benefits, you know, past just what you unlock on those planets, but also the space science isn't the same as going to the planets. So you can do space science just on your platform. It's kind of like space exploration, right? Like you, you do the space science on your platform before you go anywhere. You don't have to do thrusters and then go to a planet. You can just get the space science and then go and do yellow and purple after that. Stay on Nauvis and space platform for a while and then eventually go to a planet to start getting the fancy stuff. So there's a lot of options that we have. Um, that is in the wrong spot. We'll fix that. And there's plastic. And these make two a second each. So it's a decent amount. Oh yeah, grenades, right. Let's get grenades automated here. Um, Probably we'll do multiple military things over here, <laughs> but grenades. Let's see, what are we doing here? That, and then this. At some point, we're going to need to change that into two belts of iron, rather than just the one. Alright, there we go. Grenades. They stack to 100. That should be plenty. I love that Factorio players see trees and think grenades, right? It's a great relationship that we have with Mother Nature. Mother factory must grow. Mother nature must diminish. Make make way for such things. All right, let me grab one of these. Get rid of some crap. Way too many yellow belts. I'm just gonna start throwing some away because I can't can't fit them all everywhere. Put some in there. Go to my red belt maker. There's already some in here from last time. Why go back to Novus at all? Yeah, I mean, once you're in space, you can do whatever you want. 
Though, you will need to get a lot of stuff to another planet before you could make that your new main base. I guess some of the planets... I guess once you have the ability to get all the basic resources... Like, you could start a new world on Vulcanus, but there's no oil there. So... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, so the grenades are going to take a minute to buffer, but we've got some. Wait, what? They're right click now to throw? That's different. I don't know why. Okay, we need a lot more than that. But plastic is here. Let's start on the planning for... Did I just never put bullets in these? Or did... Yeah, I think I just never put bullets in these. Nice work. They would not have done much. Or anything. Um, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. So, blue science. If we need... Do we need twice as many of these to get the rate? I can't remember. Oh, I haven't even researched it yet. Where are you? Blue science. What are you locked behind? Sulfur. There we go. And we'll do modules, modular armor, flammables. Do it all. Oh, coal liquefaction on Vulcanist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. I think there is coal. Um, so control F, just from being in no windows, opens up your map view search, by the way. Factoriopedia, you can just alt-click the ground itself and you get a sand tile. That's hilarious. Oh, you can see the pollution absorption per chunk of the material you click on. That's nuts. Look at that. See, dirt gets you a lot more than sand. And what about, what about this stuff? That's also dirt. It's just differently colored dirt. Do we have any grass that we can see? No, oh, this is all dirt. Interesting. Tree. So none of this is grass, those are just decoratives. Interesting, okay. You still need heavy oil to kickstart coal liquefaction. Ah, I think so, I, I don't. Maybe it's changed. I don't, haven't looked at coal liquefaction yet, but this is what I'm looking for. Right, but I wanted to I wanted to practice Factoriopedia. Science. All right, so chemical science packs. So we're going to need two in 24 seconds is basically equivalent to a 12 second crafting time. So we are going to need 12 of these. Yeah, okay. So that's twice as much. Is that 12? Yeah. So that'll finish soon. Now, in my last run, I did do direct insertion of engines. Do I still want to do that? Um, I might not. Because... I'm going to need engines for electric engines as well. So it seems kind of nice to maybe just... Um... I'm trying to say just make engines nearby and then not worry about it I don't know yeah I'll just make engines over here I don't need space so it's fine to not do direct so this will be Kim science which Still a couple researches away. 
and I'm out of assemblers. Woe is me. Grab those 50. And then sulfur requires just the petroleum too. Sulfuric acid requires iron. Wait, when did I research this? What just happened? I thought I was watching what I was researching and all of a sudden I have the packs unlocked. I've gone insane. I must have not been watching. All right, we did research this. And these each need 0.06. Yeah, see, this is where I wish we had an extra decimal place because that's actually n too much rounding to be helpful to the point where it's like 0 0.055 is pretty different than 0 0.064, and I'm not sure which one it is. Um, so it's easier to just think about, I have, I have enough. I'm running 12 of these. So every 24 seconds, I need 24 engines. I just need exactly one engine per second. So. So exactly one engine per second. And these may, and that's not accounting for the 0.75 crafting speed, but I'm gonna continue not accounting for it, so it'll cancel out. Um, so one engine per second, as far as these are concerned, I need 10 buildings. And there you go. So then, yeah, so the, it's not quite one-to-one. -one. We'll add two extras just because we'll need some engines for other things later. Um, but basically, I'm going to use the same crafting line. Maybe I'll make it so that we have four engine makers that are not related to blue science. Okay. Now. They need three inputs. So, lots of red belts here to set all this up. Uh, Cheesinator, yeah, I'm with Dave here. I don't think per minute would be helpful. Um, I think keeping things per second is much more reasonable, given that belt speeds are per second. I think per second just makes a lot more sense. Do Okay, and then we need long boys. And then we need a belt down. Just an achievement for four hundred thousand plates per second. That's a lot, uh, I will say. Um, but legendary quality is a hell of a drug, so I guess that may just be possible after all, won't it? 400,000 per second. So, okay, let's, let's do some quick... You know what? I actually don't like that look, because then the pole is in the way of the... Let's build it above the inserters um although one of them still gonna be behind the pole but yeah so belts you can stack up to four. Oh, why am i putting these on the front and we get up to 60 items per second on a belt so really a belt is 400 items per second so am i crazy or is that a thousand green belts we're talking You sure it's not 400,000 per minute? It's per hour, bruh. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot more sense. And it's far easier. That will actually be very easy in Space Age. Um, 
Yeah, because I'm like, that's literally a thousand belts of, of iron. A thousand green belts stacked of iron. That would have been nuts. Um, and I mean, even with quality, I was like, a thousand belts, even of the new dense belts, that just doesn't sound right. All right. Per hour, though, that's far less than a thousand belts. That's not very much at all, actually. Okay, so there's steel, and then the gears we're gonna need for this, I'm making one per second, so I need one gear per second, which is basically nothing. And I think literally that's it. And then pipes, I need two pipes per second. I might need two of these. I do have four extras, remember. So two pipes per second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need two pipe makers and one, uh, whatchamacallit, maker, gear maker. All right. That should do it. Yeah, go, you, you, you get punished by getting put in the Gleba dunce box for an hour. <laughs> go, go chill with the pinnipods. Sounds like what you do when you're mob boss. Send him to go sleep with the fishes? No, no, no. Send him to go chill with the pinnipods for a minute. Um, Alright, so there's engines done. And then we just need red circuits and sulfur. Sulfur will be easy. that over here oh I oh, water damn it I forgot about water uh, thankfully I have water that's not that far straight to the east so we shall do that now how does this change with the new with the new system of being able to reflect things does this make this like way easier can we do something crazy like this. I'm ready for smarter bots as well. Oh yeah, 400,000 an hour is only 112 per second. Yeah, that's like, that's a vanilla achievement. That With quality, that's gonna be so easy to, to get past. But yeah, can we do something like this? Can we, can we weave? Oh, what tangled webs we weave. Is this possible or is this not really possible? Because you could, you could connect all the the water ones like that, and then to connect these, you have to go out anyway. So is that really different or not than what we did before? So just for reference, the old version, and maybe there's something I'm missing here that would make it way better, but the old version was basically that too. I don't know if that really changes much. Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course it changes much. You don't need a gap between every building. Yeah, yeah, what am I thinking? This is so much better. <laughs> so much better. Yeah, because you needed, before you needed to do it like this, because, you know, you had to have the gap for the undergrounds like that so that then this one could have a space to do that. So yeah, this is way better. Way, way, way better. Okay. So water, unfortunately, let me go grab some more pipes. We're gonna need to bring that in. And then the circuits I'm a little concerned about, um, we still haven't upped our copper production, so that's gonna run out pretty quick. So I'll need to, I'll need to fix my copper production to be like the full steel smelter array and red belts and stuff. And then we should be able to handle red circuits just fine. Grab red belts. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I know we don't need that much sulfur. This wasn't... That was me just practicing the tiling. <laughs> don't worry. I'll probably just do four to start, which is still more than I need, but I'd rather overbuild. When, when overbuilding something only requires four buildings that are only three by three in size, why not overbuild it? Uh, you know, there are certain things where overbuilding costs you a lot. This is a case where overbuilding costs me nothing. So I might as well overbuild a little bit. Launch is... Actually, I don't know the answer to that. So I'm going to have to defer to whatever people are saying on the interwebs. I was about to say it's at noon UTC, but that's when the NDA stopped, not necessarily when the game launches next Monday. Uh, so I don't know the answer to that. Wrong kind of pump? What the heck? This is grabbing landfill now, not a pump. I thought it was supposed to grab an offshore pump when you selected water, but now it grabs landfill. Because I've unlocked landfill. Weird. In some cases, that's exactly what you want, but in this case, it's the opposite of what we want. Oh, no. Okay, for a second I was like, maybe it's just because I didn't have one, but no, it still doesn't select it. Interesting. While holding a pipe that... No, that doesn't change anything. Also, that would be really weird if it did, but... It was worth a try. Guys, we're playing Space Age. Can you believe it? Can you believe the wait is finally over-ish, depending on... <laughs> it, the wait is over to watch content creators, and the wait is almost over to play yourself if you are a member of the public. All right, there's the water, and then we get the petroleum. All right, sulfur. Sulfur's needed for various things, but for now it's just blue science. All right, 92 grenades. That should last me a minute. This is so satisfying to do. Oh, yes. Deforestation. Beautiful. Oh, are those new grenade sounds? Didn't even notice. Let's go right here. And then... So there's that, and then we just need red soikets. So, red circuits. Let's actually do a build of like quite a few per second that we can put on the bus. Because I haven't put circuits on the bus at all yet. Mostly because I just needed them for the mall. But red circuits are used in a lot of mall related things, so I kind of want my mall red circuits to be the same build as my blue science red circuits. So let's think about numbers here. So the numbers, it's slightly less than one to one. Because we need three every 24 times 12 is 36 every, so I need one and a half per second. And then this is going to give me, well, six of these buildings gives me one per second. So that's one per second. Three more. That's all I need for blue science. Let's do six more. Yikes. Wow, these rocks have some serious grenade resistance. Can I shoot you? No. Nope. 2,000 health? Goodness. I think it is a lot faster to just mine that bad boy.
Okay, so is this insane for right now? Did I do that math wrong? 9 to 12, 12 to 9. No, that's right. That's right. Um, no, you need more. Yes, I know, I know. I always need more red circuits. But as far as the actual red, uh, red circuit to blue science, I do only need nine. Unless I did that math wrong. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the rocks evolve over time. Get tougher. Drop more rock poops when you destroy them. No, that's done away with. Okay, so what am I going to do here? These guys need... How many did I just make? 15? Okay, so I'm doing 15. Which means every six seconds, I need 30 plastic and 30 circuits. So I need five circuits per second, five plastic per second, and 10 cable per second. Got it. So five plastic per second is already done. Five circuits per second is not that bad. Each one of these is already 1.5. So... This should work. Um, this is kind of problematic. No, that's perfect. I love it. Alright, so that's where the iron will come in. Hoppers back here, obviously. Um, out of inserters. The factory never needs to shrink. Yes, it does only need to grow, not shrink. It is a one one directional factory. I need more red belts. I keep clicking three times instead of click dragging. I need to practice my click drags. Okay, blue science. We're almost there, buddy. Just one more thing. Although it's arguably the hardest thing of the things. But yeah, so this guy, then... Should do it. Copper. Did I do this wrong? No, 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 that's right, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, the middle one feeds both. Okay. Those, power in between. Some light, top and bottom. Chips out, chips out. About six chips per second. And then the plastic. I've combined with the chips. And then we just need 10 straight up of this, which is gonna need... Now, was that 10 accounting for speed? No, 15, 10, I only need seven and a half accounting for speed. So I only need two and a half of these bad boys. Um, I'll just put these back here. And that should get me what we need. In terms of cableage. And yeah, this is certainly gonna strain our copper. Power. 
Boom. Outputs. Boom. And then the wire. I do away with that. Comes over here. And then we do long insert. So much going on here. I really wish I had construction bots, but we're almost there. Five, six, seven. Fine. I didn't account for 16, I only accounted for 15, but I want to say we have some extras. Baby. Alright. The output's going. Oh yeah. Click and drag, but letting go of the mouse just in time. Those gamer skills. Uh, I think I screwed up which one I was putting where, but it's fine. No! Ah, what am I doing? Panic. Panic at the disco. Let's get the blueprint. Holes placed. Then I can click and drag these. Man, do I miss Bob's adjustable inserters. I think I miss the longifying of inserters even more than I miss 90 degree inserters. I'm not even kidding. I really think after playing with longifying inserters, having separate entities for long inserters versus regular, it feels so wrong to me. It's, just, it's hard to describe, but it just feels icky. It feels icky to have them be separate things. It's just a longer version of the same thing. Like, why do I need a long inserter? All right, so this is where we can split off red circuits. Half of them join forces. Of course, that switches which side. The uh, sulfur's on. But that's okay. We can get rid of it. There it is! Boop, 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 boop. Blue science, blue science, or chemical science, whatever you'd like to call it. We got it. And we certainly don't have enough copper for it, but. We'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I can go to space now. I mean, technically, that is all we need to go to space. Uh, I think we're still a ways from space, but... But it's getting ever closer. It... It beckons. It beckons us. Bit by bit. Um... Alright, there it is, blue packs going into the labs. Oh, the gap, that that's painful, oh no. Now I need military science just so there's not a gap there, that's horrible. <laughs> Why would you do this to us? No. Oh, that little missing spot, it's just taunting you saying, hey look, there's something you didn't do. Wow, that's offensive. But, that being said, I'll live. Alright, let's go improve our copper. <laughs> you stop watching once space happens, so you're in the no space camp. Totally fair. I, I'm guessing... I, I know quite a few people are, are not interested in watching past the Nalvis part, so I totally get it if that's where you're at. Obviously, I'd, you know, on balance, I'd prefer if you all stayed, but I do get it. All right, so we need to copy this. This is how many? 12. I need four of these. I need these to be out of the way. Um, yeah. One, two... Okay, so now once I build this, this can handle 
a red belt of copper ore. Half of it can handle a yellow belt. Let's get the outer belt red, redified. Oh, <laughs> you're allowing yourself to watch me do a single planet? Oh, fun. So decide wisely. Oh, the pressure. So much pressure. Right, I take all the red belts, please. I'm going to need a lot. Um, did I need more inserters? Uh, maybe some more long inserters. Got plenty of regulars. 144. Power poles, I think I'm okay. I shouldn't need as many power poles because the medium... Oh, jeez. Uh, the mediums cover more space. So with where the mediums are placed, no, they won't actually do anymore. Maybe I'll only need mediums every other. I don't know. Now, this is interesting. Look at that. It's auto... If I could place things properly. It's auto-building the one behind it. That's super weird. Huh. Very interesting. Alright, so that's red belts now. And now we need inserters on the undergrounds. I need power poles in the gaps. I wonder if these ones could do every other gap. I'm not needing to find out, but it's possible that that could have worked. A couple lights in here. The output's going. Maybe fix the missing one before people start screaming at me about it. You cannot resist. You just have to go to sleep at some point. Ah, sleep. Who needs sleep? Okay, these ones I can do every other. Ah, uh, so that means that one. Click that one. Click that one. Click that one. Click. One extra. I should definitely do a first planet poll, even if I don't follow the result. Now, there's there's something to agree with. You're right. I will I will do that. We can do one now. We can do multiple first planet pulls. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Now, I don't know if I can do a poll on YouTube chat, though, is the problem. Participants reaction. Engage with your audience. Start a poll. Oh, there we go. Ask a question. Yes, no. I need three options. Uh, Gleba. Volgora. Vulcanus. Which planet should I go to? Question mark. Start poll. Alright. It's on the YouTube one. Um, can I do a poll on Twitch chat? I don't know if I can, actually. I know I can do the prediction thing, but that's betting channel points. Uh, that's not the same thing. Hmm. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Alright, let's get back to building this. We'll see what people predict here in a minute. I'm so ready to not build these things by hand. I tell you what. I tell you what. Oh, mods can do it? Ah, oh, well, I'll just let the mods do it then. Dave, you asked for it. You set it up on Twitch. <laughs> make the make the mods earn their keep. Their keep, which is non-existent. Sorry, guys. I'll uh, buy you dinner sometime. <laughs> um, wait, slash poll. Okay, hold on. I can do it. Ah, there it is. Question. What planet to go to? Question mark. All right. Fulgora. Gleba. Vulcanus. Do not allow additional votes. Duration, five minutes. Start poll. All right, sweet. Everybody get their votes in. Where are we going? And what did I, how did I break this? 
Oh, I didn't. We're just smelting the, the copper ore very quickly. Okay. All right, so first order of business is to upgrade the ore to be a full belt. Hey, Power Hamster, thanks for the follow. Very much appreciated. Let's finish up getting this patch saturated. Patcherated. Mining. Uh, make sure to not cut off power to our uh, oil. Fulgora because you dislike combat. Uh, fair enough. That's a very reasonable vote. It looks like the poll right now... Oh my gosh. People really do hate Gleba. Right now on YouTube, we're at 11% Gleba, 48% Fulgora, and 41% Vulcanus. And on Twitch... People still have time to get their answers in. But it's basically the same percentages. Wow. Interesting. Gosh, that's crazy. Even with the Gleba changes. I guess some people don't know about the Gleba changes yet. If they haven't been reading every FFF or whatever. But... Still. Alright, so I think that's about all we're going to get out of this copper patch. Which is not a full belt, but it's a lot. A lot more than we were getting. And then I think we're good to smelt that all the way to here. And now we need to upgrade this part of the belt. I think I can just... Yeah, I can just keep clicking. Will it do... It doesn't do splitters like that. But it does do undergrounds. I wish it would do splitters. When you just kind of belt over a splitter with a new color, it would just upgrade it. Okay, and then from there we're good to go. Sweet. All right, and then we need to upgrade iron with the same treatment. Which I think we have up to there. Is that a full belt of iron? No. No, it's not. Why not? What did I break? Uh, apparently, I have a deconstruction. Oh, I remember. Do you guys remember when I accidentally unbuilt something and I had to undo? I undid twice. And what it undid there was me upgrading a single yellow belt to a red belt, and then it X'd it out. Uh, Alor, that is a good question. As far as I know, there's no um, enemies on Fulgora, but it could just be that there's a hidden enemy that they didn't spoil in the FFF, and I happened to not see anything about it on the beta Discord. But that doesn't, I don't know, it's still completely possible. I could have tried the new redo. Uh, redo's basically the same. It's more undo that's different now. Um, I should add the undo button here, though. Because you need construction robots for redo? Interesting. Because um, now it'll show you the undo history. I guess redo would do the same thing, maybe? I'm not sure. There's a lot of Gleba content already. That's true. That's true. The Gleba content is already covered, uh, for those who want. Uh, Redo did exist. Yes, it did. That's not new. Thankfully. Oh. oh, we're 54 minutes into this episode already? Gosh. These episodes are flying by, y'all. We're gonna be, we're gonna be done with our 12-hour stream before you know it. Um, okay, so that's good. A lot of, a lot of plates coming in now. Blue Science is looking pretty tasty. And all of our plates are leaving us. <laughs> to make red belts, apparently. How's power, by the way? Yeah, I was literally... I was about to say, we just started up a lot of assemblers. I bet our pollution's having a heyday as well. P is not for pollution. P is for production. Sounds like a children's book. P is for pollution. Okay. We will get attacked from the northeast a tiny bit. Um, Redo is new? No, I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I know they changed undo and redo, but there was a redo function. 
you could you could undo and then you could control y to redo it i'm pretty sure that was around before right like i'm not a hundred i'm pretty sure redo was a thing all right so final votes after what is about 50 50 votes we've got gleba at about 13 ish percent Fulgora at about 45% and Vulcanus at a... Uh, well, I'm trying to combine the two polls, which is not working out for me. Oh, it was only a mod before. Okay, wow. I, I guess I'm just thinking about the undo button having been both buttons. That's really weird. Okay, so on YouTube, Gleba is 23%, Fulgora is 43%, and Vulcanus is 34%. So Fulgora wins by a little bit. They're all about equally spaced, Fulgora, then Vulcanus, then Gleba. But on... Where did the poll go on Twitch? Uh, can I get it back? It's literally gone. I did a poll, but now I can't see it in the chat. Fun. Love it, Twitch. Thanks for making this easy to find after the fact. It, it was showing it to me for a minute, and now it's gone, and I don't know how to get back to it. How do you view the results of a poll? It doesn't even show up in chat, where like, I can click on a link. Shall you abuse your mod powers? Uh, no. Um, can you not view the re results of a poll? They're just like this temporary thing that just disappear forever? on Twitch. I think that might be what happens. Well, that's terrible. Anyway, it was pretty similar on Twitch. I think Vulcanus won, though. So there you go. Nobody likes Glaiva. Yeah, I do think they had to they had to go up against a natural disdain for biological processes in factory games. There there is something there to be said. All right, so we're going to research quality. We're going to queue up quality research. We're going to queue up the other mod. Whoa, 500 packs? Okay, hold on. I didn't notice that. Quality is 10 times more expensive to research. I mean, I have I have plenty. It'll just take a little bit longer. Um, maybe before all of that. Oh, I didn't need to unqueue that. Hold on. Let's Let's make use of our new buttons. I can just shift it over. You can't drag it, but you can click it over. Uh, mining productivity is nice. Just get 10% more or uh, get free everything basically from doing that. Oh, that is a weird icon right there. That is a really weird icon. What even am I looking at? It's like really blurry, whatever it is I'm looking at. It doesn't actually look like fluid droplets. I don't know what that is. Um, that's really weird. And there's a green X behind it. I don't know. That's a weird icon. I will say. Okay, so I think with that, we'll call it the end of episode five for the YouTube series. Um, if you're here live, stick around. We're going to keep streaming. This is a 12-hour stream after all. And we're only seven hours in, so we got we got work to do. But uh, yeah, I guess spoilage is kind of scary. Uh, just another reason why people might not want to go to Fulgora as much, because like it's kind of an intimidating mechanic. Time pressure feels like biter pressure, which a lot of people don't want in their factory games. So there could be a lot of various reasons why people aren't liking Fulgora as much, even just conceptually. Um. What'll be more interesting to me is not how people feel about it now. I know I said the, f the episode was over, but we're almost there. Uh, what'll be more interesting to me is not how people feel about it now, but how people feel about it in it six months from now, when basically everybody has played enough to kind of try out the different planets. Then I think it'll be more interesting to see what the community sentiment is. Because thinking about things without having played with them, it's really hard to know if you're going to like it or not. You can you can dislike something conceptually, but then it plays out and you're like, it actually worked out great or vice versa. So that's what will be the test of of.
Glaba is like, do people love it or hate it six months from now? Then I think we'll know kind of how it all worked out. All right, and with that, I will say thank you for watching. If you're here live, stick around. If you're here from the future on YouTube, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.